I can really never get over how creepy this music is. I know I've said a lot of the soundtrack in this game is creepy beyond belief, but seriously, it sounds like bellowing beasts inside of a cave, which is kind of the case here. I mean, there are moles and bears here. Anyway, so we'll go back to some more Earthbound. Last time, we finally got Paula free after taking down Mr. Carpainter and came over into Lilliput Steps, where we effectively grinded her up to our level, practically, and took down Mondo Mole. It actually became very easy. Off screen, I did grind a little bit. Ness is now level 23, and in the process, got PSI Rocket Beta, which is really freaking good. And then Paula, got PSI Magnet. We've seen these uh, we've seen this move with the mobile sprouts. You can suck PS or PP from other enemies and add it to your own. Kind of cool. And you can tell here too. Yeah, she's still pretty frail, but she is level 16. She's a lot better than she used to be. If you're wondering what method I used to grind, uh good example. Hello, Mr. Mole. We one shot the moles at this point. And we got a croissant. Why was he holding a croissant? If you just walk down and up from this little route, this bowl respawns every time, almost. Which is amazing. So, yeah, that's why I did the grinding in this place. The bears don't really give you all that much, considering that you have to use a lot of PSI to take them down. They're very tanky. And the moles, I think, give like 100 less XP. Uh, and these guys like dropping croissants, apparently. So that's why I did the grind. And honestly, it did not take that long to grind up the levels for Paula, so I'm just glad she's at our level. So, back in Happy Happy Village, where there's no blue people anymore, we now have stuff. We have inventory space. Uh, in which case, I'm going to fill it up again. Now, I did go, uh, go and call Eskar Go. I am having them deliver me some stuff because I need some stuff delivered eventually. Hello, Eskar Go. How are you doing? I'm from Eskar Go. Deliver your uh, pencil eraser and a cup of life noodles. There's a reason with the pencil eraser. You don't need it right now. If you're following along, you don't need to grab. I don't, didn't, wasn't trying to talk to anybody. The thing I wanted to talk about with the Cup of Life noodles is I said it was pointless because we were by ourselves. If a party me a member goes down, you have to rely on the other party members to revive them via Cup of Life noodles or other healing ventures, I guess. Oh, why, why did I say ventures? Other healing options in the future. The pencil eraser, however, has found a new use. Hello, Mr. Cow. I'm going to come over there and shove this right up your... You can't use the pencil eraser. Huh. This is one of the weird cases that this was found more recently. I guess somebody was screwing around with the pencil eraser and found out that you get a unique piece of dialogue when you try to use it on the cow. Don't know why. I guess there was a use for it in development or it was just a funny joke. I digress. I don't get it either. <laughs> Um, I could put away those items right now, but honestly, we're going to be going back through Peace Forest Valley to Tucson soon, so I'd rather just do that at Tucson. And this is going to be a weird episode. It may, uh, we may make no progress here, but we're going to do some weirdo stuff. Uh, hello, Mr. Rossetti. So we're going to begin by heading back through Peace Forest Valley into Tucson. Now, this you do not have to do. But I want to show something weird. I got a back attack. How did that work? Okay, I, I guess the thing really wanted to die. First of all, there is an item I forgot in this place. It's not here. Uh, okay, I guess I'm gonna fight the mobile sprouts. I mainly want to fight the territorial oaks. The reason why for that is I want to get Paula killed. You're thinking, why would you want to get her killed, especially... How is that a back attack? Okay, fine. I guess I'll just defend and you 
uh, I guess I can show that they have a weakness to fire. Or is it ice, I think? It's ice or fire. I mean, we do so much damage as it is. All right. Just kill the oak. This actually works out really good because that does a ton of damage to Paula over time. That's why I recommend doing for that. Instead of worrying about masterization or whatever. There's an item I forgot in this place and I... I can't remember where it is. I know that we missed an item. I just gotta find where it is. I do not want to fight those sprouts. So, the hard time is practically over. Like, now that, I, not, yeah, now that we have Paula, we have a dedicated damager on our team, which is amazing. Like, Paula is a really, really good party member, and she can deal a crap ton of damage. Brain Shock, that's gonna do nothing. Brain Shock usually never hits. I think it's based on speed and ter territorial oaks are really slow. So, all right, good. Paula's almost dead. <laughs> Again, you don't need to do this if you're following along. I'm just doing that for uh, trivia's sake, I guess. And besides, I'm making it harder on myself if I get everyone, well, not everybody, but at least Paula killed. Because there's, there's stuff I want to show with that. Brain Shock Alpha. I don't know why it doesn't work. I'm guessing it's based off speed, and Territorial Oaks are not that fast. There we go. Hey, Paula's dead. So once you have a dead party member, you have the new flavor of blood. Very rich in iron. So, as we're looking around for this item that I can't for the life of me remember where it's at, I I know for a fact that it's something you want, especially since I'm going back for it. But, uh, really? I guess since we're roaming around in Peaceful Rest Valley, I could talk about exit mice again. Exit mice are weird. Also, you have this bridge that's built. Uh, this leads right back to the beginning, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it does. Uh, I how is that a back attack? Damn thing gave me a cold. <laughs> Anyways, as we're roaming around Peaceful Rest Valley, I need to go into. Oh my god, okay. After the tree. Okay, can I stop getting interrupted and talk about the stupid exit mice? Earlier in development, there was an item that was called the teleport box. At least, text that was found for it. These essentially were the beta exit mice in that they were items that would eventually degrade over time rather than being a one-time use. And as they degraded over time, they would eventually explode and send you into a random area you've been to before. They scrapped this because they probably thought that was very inconvenient, which obviously so it is. But it would have been funny and it would have been a very big earthbound-ism. Um, I want to say it's up there, but I don't know where the crap this thing is. I'll take a magic butterfly. And I don't even remember what the item is that I'm looking for. There's no map, so I can't look around it like that. I may just pull up a map and see where it is, because I know... I don't know what the item is that we're missing, I just know it's an item in general. Um, I want to say it's something important, especially since I'm going back for it. And I remember making notes that I... Actually, you know what? Okay, I remember it was earlier on. I remember it was early on. So... Oh my god, these friggin' oaks! Okay. I remember it was earlier on because it was next to... Oh my god. Alright, that's not the item here, I don't think. I know it was earlier on, but this... Okay. Oh, okay. You know what? I, you know what I did? I mistook this... I, yeah, I mistook... Mistook? I made a mistake in thinking that this was the starting area. That is not the case. That's the bridge I'm thinking of. There's the present. There's the godforsaken present. Okay. I might as well take advantage of this magic butterfly. These guys are... I've been getting very lucky with these magic butterflies. <laughs> like, they usually never spawn this often, at least for me. All right, so let's head around here, loop around to the top of this hill. How did I forget this? Present luck capsule. That's what that is, okay. So we can go and look at luck. Uh, that is not 
Yeah, there we go. We can still have access to our partner's stuff, even if they're dead. Increases your luck when taken. Um, this is essentially like a vitamin in Pokemon. I know, relating stuff back to Pokemon, sorry. It increases certain a certain stat by one. Um, do I want to put that on this? I think so, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we'll put that on Ness. Uh, no. I don't want to give... Oh, right, because she's dead. Okay. Can I put a croissant on my dead friend? Yes. Okay. Grab the capsule. Well, that was bad. I meant it. Drop. Well, I guess we're going out with... <laughs> going without the luck capsule. Ah. I pressed down to try to go with give, and for, I don't know why, my mind gets in the habit of, okay, this is the specific combination of buttons you have to do to get to this item, and because Paul is dead, she can't use items, so it just defaults to give, I didn't realize that, and I just dropped the item, and, you know, it's like Dark Souls, if you delete an item, it's just gone. It's not that imperative, we are not gonna be dying because of w minus one luck, I think we'll be okay. Luck is not that important of a stat. That just sucks though. I wouldn't I was not trying to do that and I'm not going to reset my game just for that. So, uh, at least I can show, well, no. Rocket just kills these guys outright, so I'm just going to do that. I say outright as it <laughs> leaves this one alive. So, it's and I also don't want to reset because I want to keep Paula dead, which is kind of... Eh, that sounds bad out of context. Sorry, Paula. If Nest goes down, though, it's not like <laughs> a certain RPG <laughs> persona where if the main party member goes down, then you're screwed. If Paula's alive and Ness is... That is the most useless magic butterfly I've ever seen. All right, sorry. If Ness is down and Paula's alive, you'll take control of Paula. There you go. The reason why I want Paula dead is because people have unique dialogue for when people are dead. In this case, Paula. I heard that Paula beat up the kidnapper. She's my favorite. Yeah. This guy is actually really... I think it's this kid. Um, this kid has a really fu uh, funny line. In the Japanese version, he did not say that. He said, Paula, I heard you kicked the kidnapper in the balls. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, what a great line. Well, my thoughts on happiness have changed. Everyone's dialogue has changed. I'm glad to see you so healthy. God, that makes you feel like a dick. So there are people of interest that I want to go and talk to. Uh, not the magic butterflies. Do I even... Yeah, no, I don't even... Need... Okay. I guess I'll go and do that. Magic butterfly. So yeah, specific people I want to talk to. Oh, Paula! Uh, oh, sorry, I thought you were Paula. The game makes sure that you feel like an asshole. Needless to say. Paula? You know, I thought I saw her for a second out of the corner of my eye. Maybe I was just dreaming. Help Paula! Hurry, hurry! What happened to Paula? God, this, this makes me feel sad. Uh, what? okay, so what are the people I want to talk to? I guess you, huh? Is that you, Paula? Oh, I thought she would be back, but not yet. Oh no, I'm not worried. I'll be okay. I feel like an asshole. Uh, is her... Oh, Paula! Am I dreaming? I feel like she just came home. <laughs> he left the room! <laughs> Alright. Nice to, uh, see that you cared that much about your daughter. Jesus. So... You can talk to some people. They have different dialogue. I'm not going to go... Cra oh, hey, unassuming local guy. Still haven't run into the old party man. Berglund Park seems... Uh, oh, yeah, you've said this before. The main attraction I want to go and see is Everdread. Because technically we have Paula back, but technically not. I heard that you've been pretty proud of yourself since you saved Paula's life. Think about it. You didn't actually save her. Come back when you've accomplished something. Ouch. That's a very obscure line, by the way. Not a lot of people know about that line. Mostly because people don't really get their party members killed on purpose. Besides me, for 
I guess because I'm a maniac and a moron. I don't know. <laughs> I guess since she's dead, I we can go to the hospital up here and show that service. We haven't had any dead party members, but then again, it's only been Ness, and if Ness goes down, it's a game over. At least by herself, so. To the hospital. Who do you want to see? Paula's just brought in and is still unconscious. Please pay $100 for the doctor's fee. Guess screw you if you're poor. Welcome to the American health system. Yeah, so we got Paula back. I want to check some of these signs. To recover or not depends on luck. Believe in your luck. Believe in your doctor also. Doctor believes in his luck. Are you just rubbing in the fact that I accidentally deleted my love capsule? Because in that case, screw you. Uh, no signs up here. I've been neglecting to reading the signs, and it's just because I think it's part of the background, and uh, you don't think to read that stuff in the background. So, thankfully, it is a full recover if they go down, so that's nice. And our text goes back to this nice color. I will change the text colors probably in the next episode or something like that, but actually probably after this batch because I want to have Ness's dad call at random times. But, uh, yeah. Now that we have Paula back, we can go and bring her back to her parents who are very worried about her. Actually, I can talk to this kid and see. He's smiling. Apparently that has to be used by psy psychics to understand that he's smiling. Thank you for saving Paula. You're my hero. When I grow up, I want to be just like Paula. She's like 12, I think. Paula's like a mother to me. I may not be able to comprehend my emotions. I may have a, might have a baby face, but I possess the mind of an adult. I think you said that before. Yahoo! I know it. You say Paula. I don't really understand it, but you know that Paula's miraculous power and your great courage will, will allow you to stand up to any challenge. Paula, if you must take a trip, be sure to bring this along. It's my very own handmade band-aid. Ooh, that rhymes. I know, I'll call it a hand-aid. Hand-aid. Did you meet Dad? He's sorry that he suspected Mr. Everdread of Berglund Park. What are you telling me? The hand-aid is an exclusive item. Yes, I'm gonna use help and not drop. Handmade band-aid. Heals your wounded body. Gone after one use. This is the only hand aid you get in the entire game. It's essentially a couple life noodles or a revive, however you want to say it. I will treasure it with all of my being. Uh, are you gonna run out on us again? Yeah, no, you're back. Ness, thank you so much. You must be the boy who, who will save the world just like in Paula's dream. Paula, I'm sure you'd be a big help to Ness. It's not every day a father lets his daughter embark on a journey to save the world. Dad, don't worry about me. Ness and I will be able to take care of ourselves. In three, the next town, we'll meet another friend. If the three of us can combine our power, no one can beat us. Now wipe your eyes, blow your nose, and smile before we take off. Goodbye, Paula. Don't worry, I won't cry anymore. And like a worried father, he just follows you around. Goodbye, Paula. Don't worry, I won't cry anymore. And then he backs off. Well, we already scavenged your room for a teddy bear, and by extension, I already have a teddy bear that's... Man, I gotta take that thing out. I didn't want to take it out in Peaceful Rest Valley, but we do have that teddy bear sitting in this car go. Goodbye, Paula. I just love this theme inside the Polestar. I think it's... It's one of the few areas that they use this theme, if any. I think this, it, might, it might be the only place where it occurs. I don't know. Hello, Ness? Everybody is looking for you. He's got something for you. Thanks. I want to go see something about... Also, the music changed back to this. Okay. I want to... Nope, that's all you say. Okay. Thought he was supposed to heal you, but I guess he won't do that until we do stuff in Berkwood. I'm getting trapped by children. All right. He probably won't do any of that until we talk to Everdread. So, uh huh. Okay. Hand aid, I will definitely put away at some point. There is some stuff I'm gonna put away because I don't need three croissants. Especially, or the hamburger at this point. The hamburger is kind of pointless, but 
Uh, I, yeah, I guess the closest place would be the hotel, huh? All right. I'm gonna go quickly grab some stuff. Well, actually, not grab some stuff. I'm gonna go deposit stuff into our escargot, so I'll meet you guys back when I walk back outside. Escargot has been called. I am gonna have them take some stuff off of me because there are stuff we literally do not need right now. Along with uh, special items that I don't want to use by accident, or in this case, drop, because I'm a moron. I am gonna have you take the Franklin badge. I do not need this right now. I will also have you take the hand aid because I consider that a special item. I don't want to use a one-time only item. And I'm gonna have you take the pencil eraser because we will not need that for a long time either. Take it. And as we're walking over to Everdread, I've mentioned before that the character's designs are kind of odd. For Paula, her... She's got a lot of weird trivia stuff associated with her. Her full name is Paula Jones, whether her dad is being uh, Paul Jones. You can see where the, <laughs> the resemblance is uncanny. And in Japan, she stated to be 11 with an age, but in North America, she was aged up to 13 because apparently you're cooler when you're 13. Ness, however, who is... It's kind of a can of worms with it when it comes to that. He was designed to be ageless in that you were able to be more relatable to Ness by associating any age with him in Japan. Canonically, he's 12, and in some writings, he was aged up to uh, 13 in the North America release. But, I don't know. I think that he's more applicable at being an ageless kid rather than having a specific age. So, just saying, it was weird. I was going to ask you to be my partner, but I know you refuse. It's written all over your face. If you accepted, I was going to give you some money. Actually, I can't keep the money now anyway. Let me give this to you. It's $10,000. Use the money any way you like. You cannot refuse my generosity. Just accept it. Now I plan on looking for the evil Mani Mani statue. That liar exaggerate unearthed in Onet. I'll see you in another time in another space. Lot of bills. Why can't I use this for myself, man? I love ten thousand dollars. A bundle of brand new crisp bills. Uh, yeah, cannot refuse the generosity. Fun fact with uh Everdread, his first name is Al. Just saying, if there was a live action thing of Earthbound, he would definitely be voiced by Weird Al. Just saying. <laughs> So, yeah, now that that's done, I want to go back to Polestar. I want to see if they'll actually do the healing options that I want them to do, because if they do, that'd be... I'm trapped in between a mailbox and a kid. Yes, the new rock in a hard place? I don't know. Well, here you are, Ness. I'll make you some cheese, even though I'm not a very good cook. Very much appreciated. Cheese. What about her dad? You're both fine. I'm so relieved. Why don't you get some rest here? Ness, you'll sleep on the couch in the den. Thanks. Uh, I swear. You... I mean, I guess you can't have the little boy and girl sleep in the same room. Because that's kind of weird, but... Man, you gotta throw me on the couch. Really? So, now that that's done, we're getting a little bit of revenge for Paula. I'll meet you guys in Peaceful Rest Valley real quick. Back in Peaceful Rest Valley, which, dear God, this place is hell on Earth, we're gonna get revenge for Paula. In that, we're gonna get pummeled by some trees so that Ness gets killed. This can be a little awkward, especially, okay, especially since the enemies want to do weird stuff. Hey, two oaks right here. This can be awkward simply because Ness is a tank and Paula is not. So, my suggestion is keep Paula alive at all costs, don't heal Ness at all. Vacuum, uh, that's a new one, I didn't even know you could do that. That just lowers stats. 
Uh, okay. I'm gonna personally just heal up Paula. So yeah, I'm just gonna use life ups on Paula just to keep her alive. Yeah, vacuum attack, that's weird. I, I did not know you could do that. Right, burst of flames. I'm gonna, oh, I was gonna hold it there for a second, but yeah, this is where it gets awkward, but I think if I just keep using life up over time, that, whoa, hello, friend. If I just keep using life up on Paula over time, that we can eventually get Ness killed. So, uh, my, hi, Mobile Sprout. You know what? Now that I think about it, couldn't I just delay the A press right before Paula goes down? Make it easy? Let's see. Burst into flames. Alright. Let's see. Wait for it. Uh, oh, I... Okay, it goes on by itself. That's why... It, okay. Well, level 17 on Paula wasn't trying to do that. Okay. So that's what we'll keep doing. Um, I'm gonna actually use the hamburger because I need to get rid of this thing. And yeah, if you can already tell, the rest of this episode is just gonna be me talking about trivial crap because we don't really need to do anything else. So, I'll meet you guys back when Ness is dead. <laughs> Should be the last tree I need. Hopefully, this is all I gotta do. Especially since I'm way over time on the recording, but... I think for you guys, it's actually going to be on time, because I'm really bad at judging that. Because I cut a lot, so... This should get Ness killed, as long as I can delay the press, I guess. I don't know. Alright, let's see. So, Person of Flames. Yeah, Ness is dead! Perfect. Now, this becomes really tricky, because... Yeah, we're, con we're controlling Paula now. And, yeah, we have no healing whatsoever, besides croissants, so I guess I'll just use a croissant for safety measures. Because, unfortunately, you cannot grab the body of Ness and make his body use life up alpha. Yeah, uh, I don't know. As such, I'm going to be very okay if these guys would despawn. I'm going to try to be very careful running around with Paula, because this can get really dangerous very quickly. Do I want to? Nah. I was going to say maybe I should drop down a restore point in case bad crap happens, but... Okay, I think I'll be fine against a single mobile sprout. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll be fine against the sprout. I thought they were weak to fire, but no, they're weak to ice. Yeah, seeing more of the enemy affinities in the world, where most plant life is weak to ice stuff, so freeze. That's not the case for every plant life, but for the most part, it they're pretty much weak to ice. I keep saying ice, freeze, freeze. So, now that Ness is dead, there is unique dialogue, oh my god, <laughs> screw those. There is unique dialogue that can be seen when only Ness is dead and Paul is alive. So, first of all, we gotta go all the way back to Onet, though. So, I'm gonna go and beat you guys back in Onet. Oh, we get to hear this theme again. Man, it's been a too long since we've been back in Onet. We could have came back here in the previous episode, but I was not walking all the way back here from Peace of Forest Valley just to go back to Happy Happy Village. Yeah, screw that. I've already gone through enough hell with Peace Forest Valley. So, why are we back in Onet? Well, I want to go back to the pharmacy, or the drugstore, however you want to say. Because, again, we get unique dialogue if only Ness is dead and Paul is alive. So, drugstore should be right over here. Yeah, man, I remember this game too much. And I want to talk to this kid. The younger manager of this shop has a strange way of talking. Anyway, be sure to pick up some items that would be helpful in the future. Not just stuff you need right now. Pretty sure that line doesn't show up unless if you're only using Paula. The one I'm most curious about... Uh, do I need... No. Okay. The person I'm most curious about is Frank. So that's all the way down here. Because I, I, I don't know this for sure. But I'm curious as to if he'll even heal you if you're only... Paula. I know he heals Ness. Uh, hi, Shark. We haven't seen you guys in a while. What? You're a friend of Ness's? Ness is my friend. However, I can't remember becoming a friend of a friend of Ness's. 
Quit joking about a circle of friends and go home. Dick. I mean, like, you know, we're kind of helping him save the world and all that. You would think you would at least try to uh, be cool, I guess. I don't know. Last few bit of things in Onet. I want to go all the way back to Ness's house, which isn't that long of a road, thankfully. Uh, I don't know if you count the going around the road from the library, a long road, but... Yeah, I want to go back to home. I haven't been here in a very long time. So we head up here. Oh, great, these spiteful crows are still here. Ah, home sweet home. I'm just imagining Paula dragging Ness's corpse on over to his mom. It's like, please help us. Any friend of Ness is welcome in our home. I think it's great. Uh, I think it's, yeah, I think it's great the way you kids have been wa uh, working together. Cool. I don't want to go out anymore. Uh, you don't have any new dialogue. Screw you. Stupid dog. Do you say anything, Tracy? Oh, it's my line now. Oh, you don't say anything new. You're still a dork, though. Which makes you very lovable. I know I'm dragging this on, but I seriously want to see all the dialogue. Uh, what happens if we call Dad? Hello? Is that you, Ness? Why are you disguising your voice like that? Who are you trying- who are you pretending to be? Oh, well, it's not a big deal. I suppose you need to have a sense of humor at a time like this. Okay, and he just goes through the rigmarole of this. Alright. That's funny. Back to Tucson. You have no idea how much restraint it takes to not kill every enemy as only Paula. Because she nukes everything, but I gotta remember that she's also very frail, so... I, uh, you just have to be careful with that. So, last few people I want to go and talk to... Um, oh, I just passed it. You're probably wondering about this too, about bikes. Uh, I'll get into that in a second. But I want to talk to the bike guy. Do you want to ride a bike? That's not going to work. Two people on one bike is strictly forbidden. I'm, I'm one person, though. Oh, what? Oh, you say something different now. When you're carrying an unconscious friend's stuff? Carrying a lot of items and riding around is impossible for you. Ah, oh, that's how they justify it. Okay. Yeah, even if somebody is dead, you still can't use the bike. Therefore, making the bike even more useless. <laughs> like, God, I... I uh... If they ever make a remake, <laughs> like that'll ever happen. Uh, is that the... I want to see what you are. If you're the guy I'm thinking of. Oh my god, it's you. Finally, you show up here. Okay, uh, old party man. You don't really do much. He likes to do funny moves. That's pretty much it. But Christ, did we never find that guy. Okay, I don't even know what I was saying. Uh, uh, bike, yeah. If they ever make a remake or a remaster, which will never happen, make the bike more useful. Like, seriously, the, I mean, the bike's a cool idea, but it's so pointless when you can't ride it with people in it, on it. I don't know why I went down here. I got... <laughs> Sometimes I blank when I'm talking about stuff, and yeah, I just want a completely different direction. Uh, move. What do you say? Well, here are Ness. Up. Uh, Ness is not alive. Her okay. I guess she could speak with the dead. I don't know. Uh, do you say anything different? Oh, Paula. Even so, even like a uh, to even a tomboy like you thinks of her father occasionally. You should rest, seeing how it's your own home. Uh, share a piece of pie. Up. Uh, you forced me to sleep. Well, that's interesting. That's all the stuff I'm going to cover with uh, dead party members, because uh, it'll, it is a little awkward trying to get somebody killed, especially if they're as tanky as Ness, which really isn't saying much, because Ness is the tankiest party member there is in the game, but eh, whatever. I'm going to go quickly revive him at the hospital. I'm spending a lot of money at the hospital today. Don't you chase me. Oh my god, you're slightly faster than me. No! You can attack my corpse! How is that at all fair that you could backstab your dead friend's corpse? Even though it's not a corpse, it's more like a ghost. I, I don't know. Uh, let's go revive Ness. Spending a lot of money here today, lady. Yeah, Ness is unconscious. There we go. That is the only way you could recover your dead teammates, unless if you have a couple life noodles or any other revival items. 
Which kind of sucks, because it requires money, but then again, you make so much money in this game that it shouldn't even be a problem, so... There you go. After all of that, and uh, grossly over time on my recording, but it's fine. I'm gonna end things off there, so... Next time on Earthbound, I think we'll be exploring a little bit more of our options that we haven't taken care of yet. And... Trying to make some progress. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.